Okay. Um, this is joint work with Jia Jianbu. Um, so the scope of this project is uh, understanding dynamical scenes. And the um, best way to relate what I mean by dynamical scenes is to just show you a world famous uh, Ruby Goldberg machine unfold, a, a, a small excerpt from it. So here things um, fall, um, uh, collide each other, roll, uh, many complex interactions, all of which we look like, you know, easily comprehend and understand. And it is not just dynamical scenes that lead to dynamical, you know, understanding, but also scenes like, you know, static and still scenes like this. We get much uh, dynamical content out of it. And we think that observations of this, of this source relate nicely to some of the Turing++ plus plus questions, such as what is happening and what will happen next. Uh, so to, under, to study understanding dynamical scenes, we turned into we turned to this real-world data set. Where uh, uh, so here uh, you you just uh, you are just seeing um, uh, j just couple frames from a video uh, from this data set, and here are um, frames from three for uh, three, three frames from three more. Um, and videos from this data set. And it is a really simple setup where there is a ramp and two objects and they slide and collide. Even though it is a basic setup, there is a lot of um, physical interaction taking place. So we think that, or we assert that, uh, what happens when, perceiver, when a perceiver looks at things of this sort is that they recover physical objects models underlying these dynamical actions. And in the model, um, there is um, there is a, a physical object component where each object is described by some physical attributes. And then this is given to a 3D physics engine, such as Bullet, to get some simulated velocity profiles. And then we take the input videos and then sort of lift them to velocity, pro uh, velocity space by passing them through a tracking algorithm. So then inference in the model is just trying to you know, search in the space of these physical objects to match simulated velocity profiles to observed velocity profiles. And here is just uh, the model in action. Here's a, a data from the, the, the data set. And here is the model trying to like randomly try some things and then eventually it gets to a good understanding or good reconstruction of the input. Not that the model gets a really uh, deep understanding of the, uh, of the input video. It knows something about after the inference, the, um, the um, ratio of the masses, but also knows something about the surface properties like exact friction, what not which we uh, turn into a self-supervised data set and train as a recognition model, which we then plug in into our inference scheme, which then leads to a, um, a much more efficient inference algorithm for the same hard problem. And then uh, when uh, we test people and uh, the model on a bunch of behavioral tasks that, that involve a prediction task, a comprehension task, and a transfer task, we saw that there is good agreement between the predictions made by the model and the judgments made by uh, people.